This is a happy ball. As you can see, it likes to bounce. This is a sad ball. It doesn't bounce. On my pendulum, I have a happy ball on one end and a sad ball on the other. The happy ball makes the pendulum bounce back after it strikes something. The sad ball makes the pendulum stop when it strikes something. Now we'll lift the pendulum up and have the sad ball strike this block. Let's mark the location and try it one more time. The sad ball is the side that's hitting the block. So the pendulum does not bounce back after striking the block. Lifting the pendulum to the same height each time, we get a similar result. Now we'll turn that pendulum around so the happy ball is facing forward. Now the pendulum will strike the block and bounce backwards. Lifting the pendulum to the same height, we see how far the block goes. Let's check it one more time for consistency.